Good morning dudes, how is it going? Today we're gonna tackle the last wing of Nax Ramas, and then we're pretty much done with that. So let's go, right? We had the construct quarter and now it's time for the frost worm layer. Yes, I would like to pay with gold because I'm not spending any money on this shit. Honestly, like this is you get so much gold from quests, you don't even have to. So let's go ahead and get this done. Oh I will and I will wreck you shit. You better be ready. Oh, it's just two here. Oh, but that's it? Just two? Okay. Interesting. Destroy all, all enemy minions that aren't frozen. Well, shit. Ah. How do I? <laughs> uh. I don't. I don't even know how to. I guess we could try like some hunter shenanigans, but what? <laughs> so he always kills my minions, like all of them, instantly. That that's not that great, unless they are frozen. But if they are frozen, I don't get to do anything with them, anyways. Uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> so this card is gonna be useless. I'm I'm kind of hoping that unleash the hounds is gonna be what carries me through this. Kill commands, yeah. Uh, it's got three THP and permanently frozen. A genius. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> so do we play the spectral spiders? Yeah, why not? Why not? Mm. So this means we only get to have like two minions on the board that aren't charged, but that's okay. We can deal with that. So uh, this is gonna summon on the right to my side, and we get Leok, which is pretty awful, but hey. Ba ba ba, nice lands on Leok. Okay. After, uh, don't let yourself, don't let anyone tell you to do otherwise. Seriously, you go, girl, you go. And we could unleash this. This seems a little overkill, though. I think we're just gonna hit that. Let's see what we get from that flare. Oh, fantastic. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. And we got Misha. Sweet. Now, uh, one of our spiders is actually gonna die right here. God damn, that's powerful. That's really strong. Ooh. Okay, uh, that Snapjaw, I'm not too keen on playing it, actually. I think we're better off just shooting him. Let's maybe kill Command while we're at it. You know. Start getting some damage in. What block of ice? Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Alright, they all got responses. Okay, these aren't the greatest responses. <laughs> uh, I think we got a nice way of dealing with this. I think that's that's sweet. And Frost Breath, yeah, that's all just fine. <laughs> oh, man. So what do we do right here? This guy's gonna drop. Um, we could put the hyena. Uh, not hyena. High man in here. High main here. Or I just taunt up this guy. That's probably the best idea. We get a big strong taunt and play. I get to shoot him. And I think I need to continue shooting him. Like, if we just keep doing that, we should be fine. Frostbolt on my 4-3, I assume, yeah. This guy right here is nice because he kills this. It's just a sweet trade, you know. Um, we're gonna play the high man. I'm not gonna tracking. I'm not really... I'm not the biggest fan of tracking. I gotta admit, I think tracking is awesome. But not, like, super early on in the game. I think with tracking, that's something you really kind of have to wait until you know what you're looking for. You know? Web spinner. That's not too great. So, yes, let's throw out the 
a tracking and see what we get. Buzzards, uh, we could go for buzzard or I think I think the buzzard is better because like we get the same amount of card draw except it's better. Um, Direwolf Alpha, okay, yeah, and a Stone Tusk Boar, all of that is fine. So we run one of those in here, just to get rid of that. Run you in here. Uh, this is six damage. I think we're best off just. I, I we still got this boy, so let's just run the boy in, you know, and shoot him. <clears throat> yeah, these two are gonna die, but who cares? Who cares? Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> we're just gonna make sure that we shoot him every turn, and then we should be able to win. Yeah, let's, let's play a web spinner. I don't really have much else I want to do. I, I okay. I guess having the snap jaw is a little better. And we got a haunted creeper. And that should do it, right? Wailing soul. Pure cold. Wait, 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 what does that do? Deal eight damage to an enemy hero and freeze it. That's very strong. Well, that wasn't too difficult. That was actually pretty simple. <laughs> it's an interesting mechanic, though. I very much like it. Why not? I I'm not doing anything other than killing all of your shit. You better be ready, because I'm coming for you, too. <laughs> yeah, I heard something similar. So we got Frost Blast right here. Hmm. Now I kind of want to play Hunter just to show you something. Let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, we're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna beat him with this because... Uh, maybe, actually, maybe, but we're gonna see about that. I don't know what the gimmick is yet. Still, uh, I actually want to show you a little bit of something that I think is very cute. And it's actually going to probably be part of the reason why we won't beat them with this deck. But let's just see how this goes, right? Ah, fantastic. Animal Companion, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, he starts off with 10 armor. Interesting. And deal 2 damage to the enemy here on freeze it. So we're gonna al we are always going to be frozen and we will always take 2 damage. That's just something we have to deal with. Uh, I think I'm going to toss out the web spinner rather than shooting him. Oh, man. Yeah, so just based on that, we got 15 turns to live. Of course, any additional damage is going to make this even worse. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if we summon an animal companion. <laughs> Mr. Pegasus Wars! Ah. Yeah, we sometimes do. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> well, of course I played well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what do we do about this? So we got we got this right here, Mr. Bigglesworth. The one of the funny things about Mr. Bigglesworth is he's not actually gonna kill Mr. Bigglesworth. He will keep Mr. Bigglesworth alive at all costs. You can't even taunt him. We don't have any good plays right here. I think we're dead. <laughs> yeah, you see, he's not gonna kill Mr. Bigglesworth. That's not going to happen. That's that's so cool. Okay. No, Mr. Bickersworth is actually a beast. So the thing we can do is first of all we kill this guy. And then we run Mr. Bickersworth into this. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> that's so funny. Yeah, we're pretty dead here. I don't think there's any way we're gonna beat this one. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go and play a different deck though. I just wanted to show you Mr. Bigglesworth. 
Like, that's all this was about. Again, I don't think this deck can beat him. Since we actually kind of rely on our weapons very often. And, uh, yeah. Also, one of our strongest cards, the Animal Companion, is just useless. Which is not really that great. So we could play Handlock, which is not that great because we keep getting pressured down. Let's just go ahead and play some healer then. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> ah, shit, that deck did play weapons too. Ah! So maybe not too great. Do we? <laughs> oh my god. Cheating son of a bitch. Okay then. Okay, so these are the same. That would have been so next level if he had different lines for different heroes. Other than the first one, of course. So I'm not too worried about this constant uh, spamage. The only issue is we're not gonna get to use any weapons, which is a shame. But other than that, not too worried about it. This really, I don't know why he plays a Spectral Smith. This doesn't synergize at all. <laughs> Since you don't, like, get to attack with a weapon anyways. Why would I use one? That doesn't make sense. It's probably gonna kill my free free, yeah. Okay, this is all okay. This is just fine. Mm -hmm. We could consecrate, could equality. We could just keep going. Ah, uh, let, let him deal some damage to me. I'm not worried. If I get to build my board just a little bit, that's fine. I think we're gonna consecrate this. That guy actually dealt a lot of damage to me. He has a strong card. That's that's a very good card. So uh, I get the choice between my divine shield or one of those secret recruits. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep the recruits just because I got the equality in hand, and that's just nice to have, you know. For stuff like that, works well. I mentioned wrath. That seems not too great. Uh, I could equality to get rid of that. I don't really have many good options right here. Let's just draw a card and hope that that somehow works out. What? What? You have to be kidding me. You fucker. You can't just do that. That's not how this works. Take control of a random enemy minion until end of turn. Wow. <laughs> so he's got a new hero power now. Okay, so we are actually gonna get to use weapons. Um, another issue right here is, of course, that we won't be able to beat through all of this. Just through most of it, but... On the upside, we aren't dead yet. So, hey. Gonna take it. Nox Ramos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not even gonna play anything right here. Uh, we could toss out Tyrion just to get him stones, so that sounds like an awful idea. I'm not even sure if I want to use my hero power. He's just gonna steal it, but I guess. Let's just run it out, you know. Actually, no, it's 8 mana. Yeah, I kind of thought he was gonna cast it anyways, but that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Um... Do we just heal? I think we just heal. Or maybe we reduce this guy and heal up. Kind of like this. Does he Does he seem like he's gonna play anything huge? Do I need the big game hunter? Frostbolt. Okay. Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You're made of ice. I get it. <laughs> Okay, let's play you. And uh, do we run out the big game hunter? Yeah, I think we just run out the big game hunter. We might regret this, but we also might not, so. Zombie Jow. 
Oh man, I think he's gonna start. Ugh. Now the problem with this is I believe he's gonna start using his um, hero power soon. Which personally I'm not the biggest fan of. Gotta admit that. But hey. Don't use it. Okay, good. And we might want to give him some more cards. Hmm. I mean, I could, I could just play Ragnaros, you know. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go for it. Vengeance, vengeance. Okay, now steal this event recruit. Yes, he's not using it. That is a very powerful hero power. <laughs> Poor old Ragnaros had it coming, didn't he? Oh man. Oh, nice. I think we win. Yeah. Yeah, that's game. Um. Yeah, we need to kill this. Then we hit you. And that's it. Nice! Get shit on, son! Oh, and I'm coming for you. You better be ready. Shade of Next Ramos, and we get Kalfuzad. Kalfuzad! Gimme, 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 gimme. At the end of each turn, summon all friendly minions that died this turn. I'm not too sure if this uh, this card is too, too great, but I don't know. It might be nice. Oh. Oh, fancy animation. Nah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bigglesworth. Sorry, Mr. Biggersworth. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, we're gonna do the class challenge. And we're probably gonna start Heroic tomorrow. Uh, I don't see a reason to... S ah, fuck it! Let's do the class challenge right now. It's only one class challenge. You know, let's just do that. It's only one of them. Pfft. Fuck it. I heard that this one's actually not supposed to be too great. Apparently, it's the worst one. Kalfuzad. Uh, so is this like aggro? Do we have any like buffing or something? Oh, uh, I guess we just run out the Lepidome, right? Well, so far this is just some weird control paladin. Oh, the poor Lepidome. Leave him alone, will ya? So I could run out an Echoing Ooze, or I could hope to just kind of boost it up. Oh, let's do that next turn. Ah, come on, if I get out an Echoing Ooze and then Blessing of Might him, I get like two, four twos or something. It's pretty cool. Ba -ba -ba, okay. Oh man, oh man, I could wait even longer to give him Divine Shield, but that's a real... We need to stop playing shit. <laughs> Oh, that would, be, it would have been awesome. Like, give him Divine Shield, boost him up like that, create like the strongest Echoing Ooze ever. Stone Skin the Gargoyle, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm just gonna boost up these guys and run into his face. It's like 10 damage right here. Oh, he does that once you break his armor. Ah, I get it. I get it. Now, it's a shame it's not turn 6 yet. We might have wanted to wait just a little bit because I can't use my Black Knight right now. But actually, as it turns out, that's pretty... pretty okay. Like, this is this is actually sweet as hell. Look at that value. Holy fuck. That echoing ooze value, people. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God. The thing is, I need to kill, like, everything I have will die anyways. So using the Black Knight doesn't really make that much sense. It would only have taken two damage if I... Like, the right play, if I wanted to play the de Black Knight, like, if I was desperate to play the Black Knight right there, was to just run everything into it and then play the Black Knight. <sighs> I guess we just play it like Queen Goose. Let's swarm him. That's not really that great. 
I don't have that much. I don't really have anything interesting. I don't even have... Oh, great. Kalfuzad, can you stop being a bitch? Just, just once. <laughs> okay. Divine Faber does uh, literally nothing. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just toss this out there. It might do something. Yeah, that that is nothing. Oh, good thing we saved the Black Knight, though. That's actually pretty useful. Ah, great, an Avenge. Avenge is really bad. This is just an awful card. It's just bad. It's just bad. The, the problem is, like, you might say, why? Well, you, you get a lot of value out of one mana. Yeah, but first of all, it's random. Secondly, you can't trigger it on your own. You need to rely on your opponent triggering it. It just makes it worthless. And Divine Favor does nothing. Holy shit. And you see this? Now he's cleared out all of my minions. Okay, I guess he's gonna buff up this guy. That's actually not too bad. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take it back. That, that was a pretty neat play. Let's see what we get. That does nothing. And that does nothing either. Okay, and I'm frozen. I think I'm dead here. I need to hit the zombie jaw. I it's zombie jaw, please. That I'm dead. Well, that was spectacularly uninteresting. Okay, let's see if we can do this. That is the first time I've lost the class challenge, maybe. Yeah, but I just couldn't do anything, you know? I just didn't have any plays. I, I kind of see why this deck is not that great. Is this supposed to be aggro? Oh god, there's echoing Uz again. <sighs> okay, we got a bench. So I'm guessing we just rang out the Argent Squire to him one. Uh, echoing Uz is also just kind of shit right here, you know? It doesn't do anything. Mm. Uh, let's go ahead. And this is actually pretty neat. I'm guessing he's gonna kill the Leper Gnome and then I get a really strong Argent Squire. And Frostbolt on the Leper Gnome on me. On the Leper Gnome. Sweet. DS2 damage to him and I get this super powerful Argent Squire. Now the thing is that once I break through his armor, he's gonna trigger... His uh, bonus minions. And he will end my turn. So we have to keep that in mind. I'm min maxing this shit, aren't I? <laughs> oh, great. Two echoing oozes. Ah, if I get to play. That's turn 8, though. I could play like the super turn 10, but. Ah, let's just run that in there. Do this, and let's give her a shield again. Oh, I kind of want to do this on turn 8. That would be so funny. Oh, Spectra Smith again. Frost Shock. Yeah, all of that is pretty okay. I don't have any plays. I just don't. Fuck it. Then we're gonna let him spam me some more. Ah, who cares? Okay, do you mind a favor? So let's start running shit out. Um. Get rid of that guy. If I hit this, it's gonna summon the free freeze. Am I okay with that? I'm okay with that. <coughs> Yeah, 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 chill. Chill, you titties. Well, yeah. Okay. That is awful. It's not actually too bad, though, because I... Actually, no, that, that is really fucking bad. <laughs> yes, I don't think there's much of an upside to this. Let's play, play another ooze. 
I don't want to summon a reinforce because then this guy is not going to spawn. That seems like a pretty bad idea. And, uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh no, he's not playing cards. I need to divine favor. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. So I think the way to do is to just run this guy in here. Do we maybe give him one more card? Yeah, why not? Ah, come on. <laughs> Gotta take care of myself first. And hey, we got a lot of cards out of this. Uh, yeah, you got an additional card too, but whatever, I don't care. As long as I, I, I... This is an aggro deck, right? And with aggro, you just kind of... As long as you keep up the pace, you're doing just fine. As long as you just keep up the pace. That's just all you need. So we should be okay. Do I want to avenge this? Seems a little silly. I think they're just gonna run out a ton of shit. Now the owl is just terrible. <laughs> that is the last thing I want to see. Uh, I guess we can silence this guy. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's just hit him in the face. I don't want to silence Tom Tom Michel, obviously. Like, that's a pretty miserable idea. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And yeah. So who are you gonna buff? Oh that's perfect actually. Oh that is the best target you could possibly have gotten. No, that's awesome. Look, um that is awesome. So we want we probably want to silence you right here. Uh let's just let's just get some damage going. Let's just see what happens. Okay. So what trades do we make? I think we run this in here, we run you in here. Well, let's play another Echoing Ooze and run him in there. And hey, we got that 6-4 Knife Juggler, so that's pretty neat. And we got like 16 Oozers. <laughs> we also... Oh, come on, you cunt. Well, I guess we're gonna get some more Ooze. How many Oozers does this fucking deck play? Like, Ooze doesn't even work with Avenge. What's the point of it? <laughs> the thing is, I cannot trigger Avenge before Ooze triggers. So there's literally no point to it. None. I do not understand. Uh, do we want to play the... I'm not gonna play the Cold Master, actually. I need to use this to get some card draw. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, great. Thank you, Divine Favor. That's exactly what I needed right here. Uh, nope. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> if I lose now, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> really? You can't be serious about this. Okay, this is fine. We got a nice play right here. Just blow up these guys. Ah, no! And now he's gonna steal it? Chains. No, my 1-1! One, one. <laughs> oh, man. How dare you do that? Oh, hello there. There's not much of a point to hoping that he draws a taunt. He's probably gonna kill my 1-1 one -one with that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and play that value divine favor. <laughs> and hit him. So we win next turn. Uh, hopefully. Okay, no, this is all just... Yeah, yeah, we won. Yeah, we won. Okay, I, I totally get why this is not a popular class challenge. It's just not that interesting, really. But hey, we won. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna heroic. We're gonna do that in a minute. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a rating. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow. So goodbye, everybody. <laughs>